Hope you are great. Today we are going to take unit one, lesson one, the characteristic of cells. First, we should know the meaning of cell. What is a cell? What's meant by cell? Cell is the smallest function and structure unit of all living organisms. So, what's meant by organism? Organism is any living thing that carry out its own life process. Again, what's meant by cell? Cell is the smallest function and structure unit of all living things. While organism is any, any living things that carry out their own life process like plant, like animal, like human. All of those are organisms. First one who discovered the cell called Robert Hogg. So Robert Hogg was the first one to describe the cell. He built a microscope to look at a tiny object. He he wanted to look at uh, to look a tiny object. So he used a microscope to look a tiny object. He looked at the bark por- of cork tree under a microscope. So we have two types of cell: plant cell, which is for plant, and animal cell, which is for animal or uh, or human. Why are most cell small? Most cell are too small to be seen without microscope. So we cannot see cell without microscope. We need this microscope to see a tiny object or, or to see a cell. Cell are small because their size is limited by their outer surface area. Cell take in a food and get rid of waste through their outer surface so this let imagine this is a cell so cell take in food and get rid of waste or excrete waste as a cell grow it need more food and produce more waste so let imagine we have two kinds of cell this is a small one this is a large one small one need a small food and get rid of small wastes while larger one get more food and get rid or excrete large wastes or more wastes the cell theory what is the cell theory the cell theory lists three basic characteristics of all cell and organisms all organisms are made up of one or more cells so any organism or any living things made up of one or more cell one which is like a bacteria a bacteria made up of only one cell while human or plant or animal cell made up of many cells like this let's imagine this is a this is many cells while bacteria made up of only one cell the cell is the basic unit of all of all organisms this is a second theory the cell is a basic unit of all organisms as all organisms made up of cell which is one or more all cell come from a distinct cell anton van was the first to describe living cell when he looked at drop of water under microscope so An- anton was the first one that described living ce- uh, living cells when he looked under microscope, uh, look on a drop of wood. Second scientist, which is called Matthias, Matthias conclude that all plants are made up of cell. So first one, Anton was the first one look or uh, look uh, uh, described living cell as uh, he looked at drop of water. Use under microscope. The second one matches, which is uh, who conclude that all plants are made up of cell. Third one, which is called Theodor Theodor, determined that all animal tissue are made of cell. He conclude that all organisms are made up of one or more cell. So we have three scientists: Anton, which is uh, who uh, first one that described a living cell. Matthews, who conclude that all plants are made up of cell. Third one, Theodore determined that animal tissue are made of cells. Organisms that are made up of just one cell, which is called unicellular organisms, uh, organisms that are made up of more than one cell, called 
multicellular. So we have two kinds of cell. Unicellular, which is made up of only uh, one type of cell, and multicellular, which is made up of more than one cell. Look at this picture. This is an example of multicellular. So look, we have here more than one cell. So this is a multicellular organism, like human, like animal. While unicellular, like a bacteria, look, this is only one cell. So this is this organism called the unicellular organism. Look here. This is some example of unicellular organism. Paramecium, which is organism made up of only one type of cell, one cell. Amoeba, one cell. Bacteria, one cell. Yeast, one cell. While human, look, or human organs made up of multicellular. Human, human organism, a human organ made up of multicellular. Cell of multicellular have a specific function. So each type have a specific function. For example, function of cell in a heart. So as the heart, inside the heart there is a cell or a heart made up of cell. So function of cells in a heart is different from function of cells in a muscle, look this, imagine this is a muscle, cells that present inside the muscle have a function different from that present in a heart. And also cells that present in plants and plant have a specific function different from cells that present in human. So cells of multicellular organisms have a specific function, a specialist function or a specific function. Schwann made another conclusion. He determined that cell is a basic unit of all living things. Rodolf, who a doctor, proposed that cell could form only from the, the division of other cell. For example, if we have plants, small plants, small plant made up of one cell, this cell grew up and turned into two cells, then four, then eight, and so on so cell come from existing cell or cell could for form from division of the other cell that's it